Hi, I'm Ashley, and I bought a shed that we are turning into a she shed, aka my dream craft room, and this series is the process of how we did that from start to finish, so I hope you'll follow along for the final reveal. I titled this video The Boring But Necessary Stuff because this is the boring but necessary stuff. We're starting out with a little cleanup here, trying to get things cleaned up and organized some so we had room to work. Um, but in this video, we've got a couple of things going on. I had to finish the corners out and I'll explain why here in just a little bit, but we had to do the corners and then I also started to get some insulation up and I'll just tell you guys right now, insulation is never ending. Like it's one of those things that I just feel like just, you just continue to need more and more and more insulation. Oh, it makes me sad to even think about all the insulation we had to put up. Here's one of the corners that I was talking about. And I have to do this to all four corners and to both sides of each corner. So what I'm doing is measuring and cutting down two befores and sticking them in the corners to build those corners out. So whenever I do drywall, wood, whatever I ended up going with, which I'll just tell you guys now, this is future Ashley doing the voiceover. I went with wood on the walls to do a faux shiplap look. So that'll be up coming up in a future video, but I had to build those corners out. So I had something to screw the wood to. This little mini circular saw, I enjoy using this thing, but let me tell you, I learned some ways not to use it <laughs> when I was out here working on building out these corners. I remember, so growing up, my dad, um, he always built things, worked on things, whatever. And I remember seeing him notch out little sections in the uh, two befores, like say, for example, I had to notch out some sections for the electrical wires. Um, and I remember seeing him do that, but I couldn't fully remember how he did it. And I learned real quick the incorrect way to do it. <laughs> and then I figured out the correct way to do it. So just a heads up, if you guys ever start to work on a project, you're going to mess things up. Um, you're going to learn the hard way how to do things. My biggest tip, especially for my girls watching this, keep your hair up. Um, I didn't run into that issue this time because I've learned my lesson in the past. Keep your hair on top of your head in a, in a knot. You know, nobody, nobody cares what it looks like as long as it stays on your head and you don't get it tangled up in a power tool. No, I didn't get mine tangled up in a power tool, but I almost did. And that was enough for me. I learned at that point, my hair has got to stay up. I have another tip for all my girls out there. If you're thinking about getting a drill, oh, hello. If you're thinking about getting a drill, buy a compact drill, and I think it's an impact. They're smaller drills. This, this drill, this DeWalt I'm holding in my hand, this sucker is huge and it's heavy and it's awful to set and try to hold up. I hate this thing. Also trying to get it to tighten up for the drill bit to go in there or, um, this isn't a drill bit, but anyways, whatever tool you're like, whatever you're using on the end of it, it sucks. It sets your hand on fire. I'm not strong enough to hold it. Like I hate this thing, but there are these compact drills that are amazing. They're super easy to use. They're lightweight, they're small, and they work just as good as this. Now, a lot of compact drills, um, I don't know if it's all of them. I don't know a ton about them, but I will say if you need something to use a drill bit with, a compact drill is not going to do that. You have to have like a regular drill. So just a heads up, but I just wanted to share that tip with you guys because I will probably never again, We, I mean, I will never get a big drill like this. 
for me to use personally. My husband can use it just fine. Yeah, sure. But I have baby biceps that, you know, are kind of weak and <laughs> they struggle at holding this darn drill up. Finishing these corners out were pretty simple, but it was also time consuming and boring as can be. It was measuring, cutting the boards, getting them put up, and then making notches out of the boards to accommodate for the electric wire over and over and over again. And this is where my phone falls. And I just want to show that to you guys. Here we go. You ready? Ah, boom. <laughs> so got that set back up and back to cutting more and more boards. So here's what I mean by notching out a section of the wood to accommodate for the electric wire. I did not do this the correct way. First I was taking that little circular saw and kind of scraping the wood I guess side to side like back and forth trying to kind of scrape the wood off there. That's not how you do that. I, I remembered like I was sitting there and I was like this is not how my dad used to do this. I don't remember how he did it. And then I, it dawned on me like a light bulb moment. You just cut little slices into the wood. And then I took a hammer and knocked him out and boom, that was easy. But I just want to show you guys um, that sometimes I don't know what I'm doing and I just try it until I figure it out. <laughs> Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Now I need to do this side of it as well. And the reason we're doing this is so when I put drywall or whatever I put up here, I have something for it to screw to. And that's why we have to do it on this side as well. So this one and then this corner will be done and then three more corners to go from there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm going to turn on some music and enjoy my evening and not stress about filming this. So I will show you guys what it looks like when I am done. So here's what one of the finished corners look like. I didn't get up close, I wish I would have, but again, this is just to make sure I have something to screw the wood to whenever we put it up on the walls. And then here you're gonna see a little sneak peek of the insulation. You guys, I'm so sick of insulation. I still, still have more insulation to put up. Only a few more pieces, no big deal. Um, I think there's a couple of pieces that has to go up on the ceiling and then the section where my electrical box is, um, I'll have to put the more insulation back up there. But this, this process sucks. So my dad couldn't help me with insulation because he's allergic to it. So it's my mom, my husband helped me, but most of the time I was working on this in the evenings while he was at work. So um, a lot of it I got put up by myself. It was hot out there. It's, it does make you itchy. It's not very fun. It doesn't break me out or anything major. Um, but my kiddo helped me a little bit too here. The other thing I want to say is I hate a staple gun. I hate them. Um, so not only do I have baby biceps, but I have baby hands <laughs> that do not like, they just don't have, they lack the strength it takes to set and constantly use that staple gun. Um, so that part sucked. The insulation sucks. It's a never ending thing. It's like sometimes whenever you start painting, you realize, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? I have so much more painting to do. I had so much more insulation to do. Awful, awful stuff. Um, the other thing that I found out with insulation, forget using a box cutter like you're supposed to do. I used a pair of scissors because scissors are so much easier whenever it comes to cutting the insulation up. So I learned a few things along the way, learned that I hate insulation and I never want to mess with it again. And also learned that scissors are awesome and staple guns are not.
Okay guys, that's it for this boring but necessary episode of the She Shed build out. If you guys head over to my YouTube channel, I do have a playlist that's titled She Shed and it'll show you the, you can watch the videos from start to finish of us prepping for it. I kind of did them a little backwards in the beginning, but you guys will get the gist of things and you'll see from start to finish how we are finishing my dream craft room. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.